and welcome to the show. I'm Natasha Horn and today I'm going to be looking at the growing problem of obesity. I'll show you different ways to keep yourself fit and healthy, from learning a new sport to an easy way of getting your all-important five a day. So firstly, it's time to put away these and start using these. In the UK, it is estimated that around 60% of adults and 31% of children are overweight. As many as 30,000 people die prematurely every year from obesity-related conditions. Some experts believe that obesity is responsible for more ill health than smoking is. Being significantly overweight is linked to a wide range of health problems, some including diabetes, arthritis, heart disease and even infertility. A study by the National Order Office estimates obesity costs the NHS a staggering £500 million at least a year. The problem is growing rapidly and it's predicted that if the current rate of growth continues, three quarters of the population could suffer the ill effects of excess weight within 10 to 15 years. On second thoughts, So if you're feeling a bit peckish, like I was, try to say no to those fast foods and try something a little healthier to curb your appetite. Now I'm going to show you how to make a tropical five fruit smoothie. It's brilliant because you get your five a day all in the one go. And don't worry, it's not difficult to make. All you need is the blender and of course the fruit. Right, so here we have one large banana which I've peeled and cut into about one inch pieces, two kiwi fruit, peeled and quartered, half a mango, peeled and diced, half a papaya, peeled and diced, a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, and three ice cubes. Now we just need to combine all the ingredients in the blender and blend until smooth. You can choose any fruits you want to put in these smoothies. I've chosen to put a banana in because bananas provide a great source of potassium. Also, the papaya is extremely high in fibre. It contains an enzyme called papin, which helps in digesting proteins and are fantastic for your digestive system. And the ice cubes. And then put the lid on. Now once all the fruit is fully blended, simply pour it into a glass and enjoy. Cheers! Let's go to our celebs now to see if they're keeping trim and counting those calories or letting it all loose. The only way is Essex girl Lauren Goodger is reportedly considering getting a gastric band fitted to control her eating. The reality star opened up about her weight problems last week, declaring that she hated the way she looked and had a problem with food. There's been rumours that Lauren is considering rather dramatic methods of shedding her excess weight. Lauren's pals blame her diet breakdown on her breakup with former TOWIE star Mark Wright last year, with the pair finally putting an end to their relationship after 10 years together. However, it's not all bad for our celebs. Meanwhile, over the waters, Yankee girl Ashley Tidsdale is looking fit and fabulous. Stepping out for an afternoon workout, Ashley was spotted heading to the gym in West Hollywood on Wednesday. The gorgeous blonde sported a New York Yankees bowl cap and white sunglasses while rocking, rocking cropped yoga pants and a tank top that read Love Your Life as she headed in for the sweat session. The gym sighting comes just after the Disney starlet had quite an eventful weekend out as a 26-year-old gathered with other celebrities including Kim Kardashian and Kendra Wilkinson for Perez Hilton's Mad Hatter Tea birthday party celebration on Saturday. Miss Tidsdale rounded out her weekend activities by attending a Los Angeles Lakers game on Sunday. We all may not like sweat sessions at the gym like Ashley Tidsdale, but there are many other activities you can do to keep yourself fit and healthy, like horse riding. I'm here with Morgan Standen and I'm going to find a little bit more about horse riding. Hi Morgan. Hi. So how long have you been horse riding for? Um, I've been riding since I was about three, um, so that's about 20 years now. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, since then I've had loads of lessons, just building up on my skills. Um, 
I now compete, I teach, and I've done all my teaching exams and stuff. So, yeah, I ride a lot and I've been taught a lot. How many times a week do you ride? Uh, well, because it's part of my job, I do ride quite a lot. I ride about three or four times a day. Um, that can be anything from riding in the arena, jumping, hacking out. What benefits do you feel from horse riding? Well, when you ride, you do use a lot of your core strength, mm. so you do get quite a decent flat stomach. You use your legs quite a lot. You use muscles on your legs that you probably wouldn't use when you were, say, riding a bike or running. Does it use your bottom? You do use your bum, yeah. That's an important muscle when you're horse riding. Um, but, uh, yeah, you do. You use a lot of muscles when you're riding. Are you involved in any competitions? Yep, um, I event my horse, so that involves dressage, show jumping and cross country and it's all combined to make one score and you've got to get as least penalties like to win or whatever. So um, penalties, is that if you miss a jump or if you knock the jump over? Yep, yeah, or if you stop at a jump or in the dressage if you're not quite as accurate as you should be you'll mm. lose marks. Um, and that's mainly on the weekend, so that'll be like two weekends a month I compete. And for the people who've never horse ridden before, is it quite easy to get the hang of? Um, yeah, at the beginning, when you're first just learning to walk, trot and canter, it is quite easy to get the hang of. If you've gone a professional riding school that's got the horses that are, that especially for people that are learning to ride, it is quite easy to get the hang of and start and get going. And then once you get more established and you're riding horses that aren't riding school horses, um, you have to put a bit more commitment in, a bit more mm. time, um, but it's all worth it in the end. I might have a go myself. Well, thank you for talking to me, Morgan. You're welcome. If you have any other questions about horse riding, like where to go for lessons, or any other queries that you've seen about today's show, then go to www.healthyliving.co.uk. Oh, and you'll find lots of different recipes for those yummy smoothies we made before too. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. But make sure you tune into next week's show, where I'll be looking at where to go on holiday this year. Well, come on, boy. See you then. <laughs>